Hello viewers, it's still your best friend by name, Judith. I hope you've actually been enjoying our program so far. Here are the residents of the Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, a distinguished one at that. I would want you to sit back, relax, and watch us have a chit chat with him. He's actually a daddy for all. Yes, we're having um, an avenue for the youths out there, you watching us here, um, to know some particular things, some challenges, and some struggles that uh, successful personalities have actually gone through before making it in life. It's not just all about the sugary part of it. There are actually some other things they've gone through to get there. So here right are the residents of the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by name, Senator Samuel Nemeka Anyangu. Although some call him some daddy, some daddy I actually have not known yet until we start our conversation. So sit back, relax, and watch us have a chit chat with him. I will do my best, I will do my best on my own. Own. I will do my best. Admission, admission, admission. Tabernacle of Divine Knowledge Nursery Primary and Secondary School, Ubura Amachi, in Abakalike, Lukugame area of Ebonyo State, invites qualified candidates for admission into nursery, primary, JSS 1 and JSS 2. Rush now to Tabernacle of Divine Knowledge Nursery Primary and Secondary School and enroll your children and ward. Tabernacle of Divine Knowledge is a day and boarding school with integrated Nigeria and British curriculum, well equipped with modern facilities such as modern ICT and science laboratories, stable hostel in a cozy environment. 24 hour CCTV cameras, air conditioned school buses, 24 hour power supply, qualified, experienced, and skilled educators, affordable fees, conducive learning environment, and lots more. Avail yourself of this great opportunity and guarantee the future of your children. Admission forms are available at Tabernacle of Divine Knowledge Nursery, Primary and Secondary School, Uburu Amachi, in Abakalike, local government area of Ebony State. For more inquiries, call 0803 075 or oh, 0703-481-1244 Tabernacle of Divine Knowledge College Knowledge, Knowledge rooted, rooted in, in Divine, divine Wisdom, wisdom. Oh, Hello sir, good morning sir My name is Judith from Proyota TV um, May we meet you sir Morning, my name is Senator Samuel Nemekayamu I represent Imo East The Senate and I'm the Chairman of the Committee on Ethics, Privileges and Public Petitions. Okay, okay sir. Sir, sir, I'm call you Sam Daddy and I've heard the name uh, on my arrival in Imo State. So what came about the name? Well, um, you know, in life as a growing up, you would like to create in a, an age for yourself, create your own world, your own image. So um, that name came as an inspiration um, and uh, it's a dream that I had. So when I was trying to open up a company, so I was trying to find out a name that would be very conspicuous, that people would fall in love with. So my name is Samuel. But when I was growing up, I was called Daddy. Because, you know, in the, in the history of our people, we say we, you recreated someone. So I recreated my, my grandfather. So my father calls me Daddy. So the dream, when I was trying to form a company, I was thinking of what would be the best for my company. And I would be very clear that when you mention that name, you have no other person that answer it as of me. So I brought in the name Sam, and then Daddy put it together, and then came up as Sam Daddy, and people fell in love with it. So it took my name. Most people don't know me as someone, they know me as Sam Daddy, you know, so. And uh, it has created a niche for me, and also created a world of my own, you know, and uh, I fell in love with the name. So most of my documents become Sam Daddy. So sometimes you see Sam Daddy, sometimes you see Sam Samuel. So it's because, People fell in love with it. If a little people, little kids, everybody old and young, was to show some daddy, they fell in love with the name. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. Thank you very much. So just that I have I would say that I'm in love with the name even right now. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. 
Sir, so, um, um, I want to ask you a particular question. I got to know that you have lots of visions for the youths. And looking at you, you look youthful. And I said, no wonder. No wonder he's got those visions for the youth. So can you actually mention um, maybe one or two um, of the visions or projects you've actually um, got for the youths? Well, first of all, I have disabused the minds of people that always say that the youth are leaders of tomorrow. Actually, the youths in this present you know, um, century should be the leaders of today. Um, when I was a local government chairman, I discovered that in the near future, the uh, information technology is going to be the end thing, just like what we're seeing now. I was able to open up a computer uh, class free of charge. When people spend thousands, when, when parents sell land to teach they send their children to learn computer, I was able to open up a computer school free of charge. And there I turned over 136 students, children from UK free of charge. And some of today, some of them today have gainfully employed in the banks. Some of, some of them work with the army. The computer department. So, and uh, I feel so excited that I was able to impact the life of the younger generation because they today they have moved on in technology, and that's how I started. Um, when I came up in the House of Assembly, I my interest is focused on the youths, and I was able to create employment for the younger generation who have good grades. You know. I said, I don't, I don't prefer when you see graduates come out, what you can use to do as consistent briefing or empowerment is Okada. It doesn't make any sense. I think you need to teach people how to fish so that they can fish for themselves and, and feed others. Now, we have trained 105 youths in fabrication and installation of local profiles. And now those children, that's a business you train somebody, the person who not start it alone, you must have by a hand to help. So that's what we're doing. We're training people on paint making, bead making, tailoring, tiling, POP, and other. Because if you look at, you find out that all the artistic work have been, have been Africa, have been taken over by people from Togo, Kotonu, Ghana. But when we have our people, our youths, adding away, it does not matter whether you go to school or not. People become graduates and still become furniture makers and become big time businessmen out of it. Well, here people see those things as business or jobs meant for the never do worse in society. And that's not correct. I can tell you that the person that what, what I'm wearing now, the man that made this dress, is from here. He's, he, he, he was trained as a tailor, you know, in Versace. So, and that is how he's feeding his family. He has built houses. You know, have strong house children. So it's all about the passion you have in what you are doing. So I want to encourage the youths, every slight opportunity you have to retrain yourself. I can tell you what, in America, everybody wants to go to. You see a banker. That banker is a painter. He paints his or her by himself or herself. Nobody does that. Because for you to hire labor for one, two hours or three hours in America, you are going to pay out of your, you know, through your nose. So people learn other artistic work, you know. Some people are good in painting. You see people today, the fine artists, fine artists who are rich people because some one or two of their products is being sold millions outside this country. So it's about passion you have. So I want to encourage our youth, instead of roaming around the streets, you know, like if getting involved in one, you know, um, vices or the other, make our time, go for trade. Most of this trade doesn't pass more than six months. You come out, get equipped, and what we're doing is that if we train you, we equip you to start. I'll give you for instance, I had 105 people under my training in my local government, but I have nine local governments. So what I did is to open up shops for them at the nine local governments. So that when they go in there, because each local government has about 12 people, so or 13 people. So when you go in there, you use the equipment. When you go out and bring job, you use the equipment in that common office and do your job. By the time you're able to make money, you pull out of your office and open up your, head, your own and you'll be able to train more people because you have to hire labor to support what you're doing. So, and they are even driving. 
I, I we're training people on driving. Because you find out today, some people before you go and let drive and your parents will say land. Because for you to train somebody driving, you pay hundred as much as hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand to let drive it. And what we're doing, if we train you, we get your license. If you watch most of the ministries, you won't see drivers anymore. Because all, all the drive old drivers there are old. They've retired. You see government vehicles packed. So but this is also a way of creating job for people. I know someone that have employed as a driver in a bank. Today he's a bank supervisor. Because right there as he was driving, he was also going to school to enhance his education. And from there this the bank advertised for vacancy. He applied. I had to take advantage of right of refusal because he's already working in the bank. He was employed as a clerk. Today he has grown as a supervisor in the bank. So it all depends the passion. It all depends on what you want to do. So I want to encourage the use of this country. I have always said it. Yes, you can. You know, everything is not about the get it rich quick. It's about perseverance. Good things doesn't come easy. It takes time. Do you have confidence in yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Self-belief. Just like what you're doing here. With what you're doing here tomorrow, who says you cannot be a broadcaster with CNN? Who says you cannot be a broadcaster with BBC? It's not about what you want to do for yourself. It's not about passion you have for what you're doing. So really, that's my motivation about the youth of this country, especially in my Sanitarian district. Thank you very much, sir. And here you can see how inspiring and motivating our, our daddy is. And I would want you to stay focused but well, there is something, um, sir, I heard something about you having uh, more focus on the youths. Now, um, Priyota as um, um, a channel, you know, promoting youths and talents, there is something spectacular about that particular channel. They, we actually um, discover these talents, nurture them, and they may empower them now i i know you'll be very happy to hear something like this now in one in one way or the other you could want to render assistance to this particular channel so sir can, how can you how can you come in here well i want to f say that I, i'm very much interested and i'm happy with what proyata is doing um you see proyata has come to instill into the younger generation you know the power of you know self will, the power of willpower to be able to stand on your own, and such you know um, uh, organization that promotes you know the best in the youth must be encouraged. And the way we can encourage them is by helping them in the talent hunt whenever they are ready and put up a, a program that will be able to you know, hunt talents. I give you for instance. Um, today, people don't believe that most of the Nollywood stars are one of the richest people today around here. You know, even in the Hollywood, people, the best celebrities are those that are in the, in the Nollywood industry. Um, I have been able to, just last Christmas, package some, you know, artists, some actresses and actors in the Nollywood to go on talent hunt of the younger youth, especially bringing out these young girls on the street, out of the street. Some of them have hidden talents, and we must have to bring it out of them. You know, if you look, if you go to in the night, if you go towards the All Season Hotel, you see our young girls hanging around the street, you know, looking for men to sleep with. And it's very disgusting, you know. And I think that one way to do it is to be able to put up something together and put them out of the street, and there we can be able to get the best. You never can say, most of the most of the celebrities you see today, some of them are like all these guys on the street. But somebody helped them to bring them out of the street. Out of the twelve, you know, they must always be the best. So we want to bring them out. So uh, what Proyata is doing, I would like to partner with them wherever they think as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that has a focus on the youths. And I believe that uh, what Proyata is doing is to ensure that they help the youths to be on their own, to be independent, to be focused, to be the leaders of today. So I'm here as a senator representing the Imo East Horizon to partner with them, especially in regards to the youth from my central district. Anyway, we can partner together to help them and you know, motivate them. You know, whether of talk show, you know, or anything, we are ready to partner with you. Thank you. 
Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, sir. I must say, God will continue to strengthen and bless you. And viewers out there, there is something you've actually not heard about him. He's the first senator from the State House of Assembly. I think I need an applaud for that, to expose that to you, because I know some of you don't know that. And then there is something I discovered too. So while I was coming to this place, I saw how good the road was. In fact, I must say you're really doing a good job in your constituency. Thank you very much, sir. It's actually a nice moment with you. And I hope we get to come in contact with you more often and often again and again. I'm very much I'm here for the people. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Don't forget, it's so Toyota TV and right here with the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Samuel Nemeka Anyawo. Yes, I will call him Sam Daddy. I think that name has gotten stuck to my head. I hope you keep watching Toyota TV. Don't forget, we discover you, we nurture you, we empower you, and we throw you up to the world. The world of light for the people to see what you have in you. Yes, it's still Judith by name from Toyota TV, live in Emo Space, and the residence of the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Samuel Nemeka Ayao Sam Daddy. Thank you. Stay tuned and keep watching Toyota TV. So, can you send a shout out to Toyota TV? Hi, Toyota TV. Kudos. Thank you very much.